Can I write down what that last equation was? The f of x, the one with the, I think it was f of x, the last one I was trying to do. Negative 1. All right. Now, again, we see some inside stuff, right? So now we say, oh, it's a negative on the inside. Well, thank you, Mr. Glogan, for just doing that. So now I have to have a horizontal reflection, right? If I'm going to reflect something horizontally, that's going to be a reflection about the y-axis. All right, and then I have the one third. If you guys remember, I kind of talked about the one third as being a um, kind of looked like a compression. But we recognize, guys, we can't call these. If you guys look at these two graphs, where are those two graphs? We can't tell them. We can't call them both compressions. We can't both say they have a compression of one fourth because those are not the same compressions. Would you guys agree? One's a horizontal, and one's a vertical. So then let's kind of make sense then of what does it mean? What's the difference? How would that, what would a horizontal compression compare to a vertical compression? So obviously, we can talk about stretch and compress, right? Stretch, compress, stretch, compress. So if we're going to describe this, you guys are familiar with parabolas, right? Remember, you had the U-shaped graph. It either gets stretched or it gets compressed, right? Skinny or fat, you know, whatever, however you needed to remember it. So we recognize that it's one fourth. It looks like it's both has that compression property, but it's not the same. Inside and compared to outside, wherever that one fourth is, is not the same. So this compression looks like it's, it's inside. So therefore, we're actually, if we're going to do a horizontal, um, if we need to represent this, so here's your function, right? This function is getting compressed, it looks like, Looks like the graph is getting compressed vertically. But actually, we need to describe this horizontally. So if I want to describe a compression with a rubber band, um, a vertical compression, but I need to describe it horizontal, all I need to do is stretch it horizontally. See what happens when I stretch it horizontally? What does that do to the vertical thing of that? Compresses it, right? So if I compress a graph vertically, it goes like that, right? Stretch it vertically, compress it vertically. Wouldn't you guys agree that a horizontal stretch has the same properties as a vertical compression? Not exactly the same, but they're related, right? It's the same type of like, behavior is happening. Same idea. If I horizontally compress something, that is the same idea as a vertical stretch, right? Not exactly the same, but they're the same thing. So actually, we recognize that this graph is being vertically compressed, but since we need to describe it using horizontal transformations, we're not going to want to say this is horizontally compressed. We're going to want to say this is actually a horizontal stretch. It's actually the flipped version of what is vertical. And again, you might say, uh, that's confusing. I'm not going to remember that. Again, you guys will get formal notes for this. Um, but this is actually a horizontal stretch of 1 third. And then we're shifting this down one, so that's going to be a shift down one unit. Then we're going to take a look at the graph, and we say, all right, if this graph is being reflected about the y-axis, then you know, here's our original graph. It's being reflected about the y-axis, and it's being horizontally stretched. So it's probably going to look something like this. So by looking like that, we can identify that the domain is going to be from negative infinity to 0. right? Because are we concerned if the graph goes up or down at all for the domain? No, not at all, right? Um, and then we just shift the graph down one, which is now going to represent our range, which impacts, right? Because none of this stuff impacts the range. Only the vertical transformation impacts the range. So now we can call the range to be from negative 1 to infinity. Questions? Preguntas. All good.